Hey, Mike. Um, good to be back with you and good to be back with um, St. Luke's congregation today on our weekly chats that we promised you. Yeah. We promised this chat today will be a little bit shorter uh, than the <laughs> last one. Uh, we got a little bit carried away, but it was wonderful. We had a lot of information. First I'm sure all, that I'm sure there's like a joke in there about two pastors just going back and forth, but I'm not quite sure what it is. So no kidding, no kidding. Well, first of all, I just want to express my deepest appreciation to this congregation, mm -hmm. and I know you do too, Mike. Um, yeah. This has been a difficult time for all of us, but we want to thank thank you, uh, the people of our congregation, uh, for your notes of encouragement and the feedback that you've been giving us on how we're doing as we're attempting to do worship and. Uh, fellowship and communicate with you in this new reality called shelter in place. So we also want to thank uh, the concern of members. We've had a lot of different people asking and, and concerned about members of our congregation who are going through difficult times, people who are making phone calls, people who are reaching out, riding their bikes over to people's homes and talking to them from across the street. Uh, some wonderful stories about that. Um, some people who have been willing to do some special projects during this time, which is great as well. And I guess finally, the amazing financial giving uh, that the congregation uh, continues to make. Um, we can you know, receive contributions through the mail or through our um, uh, online giving program through the website, but we are just amazed at the faithfulness that people continue to show. And so we just wanna, Thank, thank St. Luke's for the amazing congregation that it is. Yeah. So how about um, worship services for Holy Week? It doesn't even seem like Holy Week in some senses, <laughs> but, but yeah. it is Holy Week. And Absolutely. Um, we're getting ready, getting mm -hmm. ready for the, uh, the, the, the remembrance of the three days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have our Monday, Thursday service. Uh, well, there will be an opportunity um, to continue the, the practice of foot washing uh, and and there will be a space for that in the liturgy. Uh, I, I'll be preaching for Monday Thursday service and and once again just some excellent music from from Anne Krenz organ uh, and uh, you know a continuation of a wonderful assisting ministering from Beth Ann Lynch uh, which will be you know kind of the the four of us uh, you know in, in order to practice this physical distancing wanting to make sure that that there's as little people as possible just for out of own concern of, of health, et cetera. Um, and so uh, just some, some wonderful, wonderful talent, wonderful gifts, and uh, absolutely just a wonderful uh, experience to be a part of. And then we have Good Friday. Uh, once again, some great readings, um, some, some great music as well, uh, the bidding prayers, et cetera. Um, just an absolute great liturgy and, and really you know, I feel uh, Good Friday is always one of my, my favorite services. It's, it's, it's a hard service, but I think at the same time, it just calls us um, into, into a time of, of reflection um, for ourselves. And, uh, and then I'm going to skip the, the Easter uh, vigil. I'll talk about that in a second. But then Easter Sunday as well, um, you know, in terms of just excellent music again, I know that uh, there will be another opportunity um, for... Uh, the way that, that, that we'll be filming the prelude and the postlude, uh, get to see our wonderful director of music, Ann Krentz Organ, and, and this, uh, the excellent music that comes with that. And, and you get to preach on Easter Sunday. So really excited about all of that. And, and no, we're adding some pieces underneath the, um, when you go to the website, the Come Let Us Worship uh, page on our website, Underneath each one of the services, uh, Ann Krentz Organ has provided some supplemental music uh, for, the, for the services as well, in addition to what we'll be singing and, and listening to. Yes, and just uh, I'll point out too that, that um, on each of these services, there's a bulletin mm -hmm. that you can download. And Absolutely. at service, we're asking yep. you to kind of prepare by having some um, elements of that service for yeah. you, bowl of water, candle and the like uh, to kind of follow along in your home. So it should be great. So and you talked Easter, about- And Easter, right? You know, we get to finally say the uh, Alleluia, right? Um, and alleluia. So I, I, I guess I might have said it a little too early there, but there will be a, a wonderful children's message that's part of that service as well, so. Yep, so you've talked about all the different things that are going on with um, with uh, Holy Week and Easter, mm -hmm. but you. You said that there's something special for Easter Vigil. Yeah, yeah. 
So for Easter Vigil, uh, we're going to uh, invite people to participate in a live Zoom session. Uh, and the way that we'll be going about doing this is, is there's going to be a registration link sent around uh, in a MailChimp. Uh, it will take you to a page where you put in your first, your last name, and your email, and then just answer the question, are you a member of St. Luke's? You could be a member, you couldn't be a member. We're just curious about who's joining us. Uh, and that's really why we're doing this registration ahead of time just to make sure that it's the, the safest you know, um, environment that we can have for our Easter Vigil service. So once you go ahead and register, it will send me an email and then I'll send you the link uh, to participate in our Easter service. Any questions, feel free to reach out to me. But the service, uh, the Easter Vigil, uh, we'll be having a variety of readers uh, tell, this, tell some of the real faith stories of our, of our faith ancestors. Uh, so that will be wonderful. We're gonna have a reflection uh, from Pastor John Schumacher as well. So. Uh, really looking forward to that. That will be Saturday at 5 p.m. We're also going to record it uh, so that people can watch it later uh, if they aren't able to join us on time. So Right. And we've given the license for each one of our readers to kind of tell the story. Absolutely. Uh, the, these ancient stories in their own way. Yeah. So yep. I'm looking forward to that. It should yeah. be um, really a powerful, uh, beautiful service. So. Absolutely. Yep. So, Mike, um, you had talked about last week that you were thinking about um, putting together a, a kind of a weekly Bible study. How's that going? Yeah, yeah. So I was able to do the first one this morning. It, it was uh, really meaningful for me, and I hope people can find it really uh, meaningful uh, for them, especially during this time of Holy Week. And, and just as I mentioned uh, last week, it's an opportunity for you know, myself, really, you get to hear a little bit more about me and, and my own reflections on, on scriptures and, and how they influence our lives, uh, you know, today. And, and so I'm hopeful that people can join in. Uh, the video will be, uh, the devotional, uh, the link to the devotional will be in the same MailChimp. So you should not only be seeing us now, but there will be another link that will take you to the devotional. So it's about 10 minutes long or so. And, and, uh, Definitely uh, take some time to look through it. And, and this week we're talking, I'm, I'm delving a little bit into uh, Mary's anointing of Jesus uh, in chapter 12 of John. So uh, there's lots to talk about there, but how maybe we can see that in light, or, or how maybe we can see foot washing uh, from Monday, Thursday in light of Mary's anointing of Jesus in chapter 12. So, yeah. That'll be great. And this actually is, is going towards a, uh, a work that you're going to be doing for your internship project. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So as part of the requirements for my internship, I need to do a project. And I was hopeful to do uh, something else that hopefully we can still have the opportunity to do. It, it requires maybe meeting in person, uh, hanging out with some of our younger younger adults. But uh, for the time being, uh, this is the, the project. So I'll be doing this for the upcoming weeks, at least until the end of April, uh, but maybe carrying it on uh, through May as well. So, super. Well, uh, we want to wrap this up. Uh, as we promised, we're going to keep this a little bit shorter. Absolutely. So we just want to pray for your continued safety, mm -hmm. uh, your continued health as you shelter in place. Uh, please let us know if we can pray for you in any way uh, regarding your health, jobs, or, or just if you need someone to talk to. Yep. Uh, we just want you to have a wonderful, blessed Holy Week. And Mike, uh, any closing words? Just uh, looking forward to virtually seeing you all uh, over the next couple of days. And, and once again, really, really excited about all the services uh, and the opportunity to gather uh, as a community uh, live on, on, on the Easter Vigil. So have a happy Easter and we'll connect with you next week. Good seeing you, Mike. Take care.